Welcome to this insole tutorial. In this video, we will review the new wave-based glazing prediction method that is available in Insole 10. Glazing systems present unique challenges for predicting sound insulation due to the inherent low levels of internal damping in glass and edge-only paint support. The absence of intermediate framing and acoustically absorptive infill in the cavities of multiple layer glazing systems exacerbates resonance effects, making conventional models less reliable. To meet this challenge, Insole now includes two methods for predicting sound insulation performance for glazing. The energy-based glazing model that is provided with Insole version 9 is primarily based on the mass law of sound transmission through panels. Additional sound transmission features are then modeled as adjustments to the fundamental model. These features include the pane bending resonance, mass spring mass resonances, and coincidence dips. The energy-based glazing model includes several empirical factors which adjust the predicted sound insulation values. These factors are needed because of the low levels of damping in glazing systems. When Insole 10 opens the first time, the default glazing model is the energy-based model, offering predictions which are consistent with those provided by Insole 9. The energy-based model can be used for single, double, and triple glazing systems. If the glazing system includes laminated glass, the energy-based models assumes that the panes of glass on each side of the interlayer have the same thickness. The wave-based algorithms implement a general mechanics-based model which represents the complete glazing system, including edge connections. The wave-based model can be used for single, double, triple, and quad glazing systems. If the glazing system includes laminated glass, the thickness of the panes of glass on each side of the interlayer can be set separately. The wave-based model also allows selecting the pane connection for double, triple, and quad systems. This is to represent the structural connection that may exist between the different paints in the system at their perimeter. The current list of paint connections includes aluminum framing, IGU, and wooden sash. Also, the list of available cavity gases now includes air, argon, and krypton. The wave-based model has a longer calculation time. The calculation time varies depending on the complexity of the model and the dimensions of the system. The energy-based model can be used for quick calculations. The wave-based model is recommended for final calculations or when exploring new design options. Because the wave-based model is mechanics-based, it is more sensitive to changes in the dimensions of the glazing system. For example, increasing the size of a glazing system can notably change the first several plate resonance frequencies resulting in a change in the profile of sound insulation performance across the low frequency region. The angle range for the diffuse incident sound field can also be adjusted from the settings menu. To see how the different glazing prediction models work in practice, let's look at an example. Here is the measured sound insulation performance for a double glazing system comprising 4 mm monolithic glass, a 19 mm air cavity, and a second pane of 4 mm glass. The glass panes were mounted in a common wooden sash frame. The glazing system was installed in the test partition as a series of three adjacent windows, with each window frame measuring 0.62 meters wide by 1.75 meters high. The energy-based glazing algorithms provide a reasonably accurate prediction of the measured data, particularly through the mid-frequency region. We can now change to the wave-based prediction model. To prepare the model, we need to choose not only the type of glass, but also the type of pane connection. This is the connection which will act as a structural bridge between the two panes of glass. For this example, we will choose wooden laboratory test frame where the pane is sealed directly to the frame. When the model has been set up, press the Calculate button to start processing the model. Processing is completed in two parts. The first part of the calculation checks and, if necessary, updates the radiation efficiencies which are used to estimate the sound level that is radiated from the glazing system into the receiver space. The second part of the calculation processes the sound reduction or transmission loss values. As shown by the high resolution indicated by a dark red line, 
the calculations are completed on a narrow band basis. The results are then used to determine sound reduction values for one-third octave frequency bands. The wave-based glazing algorithm also provides a reasonably accurate prediction of measured data. Notably, the wave-based method provides a better estimate of the pronounced resonance dip at 160 Hz. If you have any questions about this tutorial, or you would like to learn more about the new wave-based glazing prediction methods, please contact your local Insul distributor.